Okay guys, well here is the underside of the DC3 wing. Basically I've just sheeted it, not finished the sheeting. Um, I've added the the hole going through the uh, main spar to retain it and tighten those up and it's all been uh, epoxied. So if we look at that from the top, that's my little uh, epoxy block, which has been epoxied to the main spar. This outboard rib here, and also I've uh, sanded a curve to match the outer phenolic tube. I've done the same on the other side there, and that's the end of the sprue there. I also decided that I would need to add some insurance, I call it. So on this part here, what I've done is I've drilled a hole through the in through, through the wing spar tube, oh sorry, the tube, not the spar, um, and that goes all the way through the frame and then is attached with a nylock nut and adhered to the rib here. So what this, and this is attached to the frame and the spar also. So what this means is that I'm hoping I don't ever have to experience it, but if I have any adhesive failures on these um, little areas here, like in there, uh, yeah, if I have any adhesive failures of this here, I've got this in here to prevent the actual wing sort of coming off like nothing. You know, I can inspect this and everything and even if the wing, um, even if this glue fails, the wing will not come off. Um, uh, a friend of mine also, I've heard of him, Rob Sargent from Aubrey Hobby. Aubrey uh, RC models. Uh, he suggests that we put in a, what I'm gonna do is put a piece of um, wood in this section here. And in this section here, I've already sheeted it, so I'll have to access that and do it so that we can put a diagonal bolt through here. And what that means is, I think it's just a bit of extra insurance um, for any failure of adhesive on the wing tube itself. Um, and it will help to keep this portion here together. So I asked some of you guys um, the other day, or maybe today, about this little gap. It's not very big. See, there are some both sides. Um, it's not much, but it's enough that I feel like the wing root isn't seated properly there. It's like pretty good. I think those tubes do, like the wing tubes, um, extend through here. They're quite thick and bulky. Um, I think they take up the majority of the forces um, this plane's going to see. But I just want to reinforce that wing seat area between these joins. Just to, I think that'll make it a lot stronger and transfer those forces and not just rely on the two tubes. It'll sort of make it one piece. Or a bit more continuous piece, hopefully. Um, I've made the fuel tank bays. So the plan is that I'm going to probably remove the sheeting here as well, just to get myself enough access, because a lot of you guys gave me feedback on fuel proofing this compartment. So I'll, I'll put a bit of a wall here, um, and then I'll fuel tank, I'll, I'll fuel proof this with some epoxy. Uh, I think if I run this open, it'll be in the fuse anyway, not a problem. Um, it'll also give me access to lines to be able to make sure that they're routed correctly through the holes that sort of head all the way through here. There's one there, so that hole joins up to here. Um, don't, probably can't see it very well, but yeah, that's the plan. So I'll do that. Um, I really want to uh, add some blind nuts here for the Zeroli retracks. But my budget doesn't really allow for the retracts anytime soon. So what I've done is I've bought the fixed gear wiring. The wires, which I intend to bend up, I don't know when. Original uh, non-retract plan has a couple of notches out here, similar to sort of this size, which the wire gear runs on, which spans here. So I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll add these in run a span of uh, hardwood across here, run my um, fixed retract wire on there, 
Um, the rear point is just up here under the sheeting, so I've got a big uh, ply, marine ply mount there. You've got to cut all this, or cut a little thing in there. So, um, yeah, that's the plan for that, I think. But yeah, I'm just a bit worried that I want to add some blind nut provisions here for that gear, but um, yeah, I'd, I'd rather have the actual retract system, put it in there, seat it, drill the hole. Uh, the problem with that is I want to do the nacelle sheeting or planking. So once I do nacelle sheeting and planking here, I'm going to have a really tough time or really tight space to be able to get those blind nuts in there and secured. Not to mention, I think I'd have to relieve it a little bit because of this doubler. Because see, it's not quite center. So I probably have to relieve these parts. I'd don't know whether I, I'm just being impatient and should do the nacelles and worry about that later. Come back to it. I can always re-access as I have here. It doesn't make it look as pretty, but this will all be fiberglass. So um, by the end of the day, it doesn't really detract anything from it. Um, I can just re-resin um, the holes I make if that's the way I go with it. Um, yeah, so tell me what you guys think, I guess. But yeah, plan is... I'd really like to get started on these nacelles. Um, what else? I've got the um, the old uh, fuse. Um, basically, I would just want to have this wing done, um, especially across the top here. You can see I've been doing a bit of work on the smoothing and just a little bit of um, just a little bit of keeping it getting nice and flat. Um, so that it can accept some ply um, seats across there. So I may have cut the ply seats and everything. I just have to add them, um, sort of button it all up to each thing and then glue it all down. So uh, windows, uh, I don't know what I've got to do with the windows. I think I will use some sort of perspex and glue it from the backside, but um, yeah, I've got to think about that as well. Um, probably the job after doing the wing is um, I've got to get the stabs and I can then, once, because I wanted to build this wing just to true up those stabs, uh, I can start to add the, I've already sort of trued it up a little bit and added little pieces of wood to get my uh, angles right, but then I just need to add the wings and true them up relative to each other as well as do the vertical stabs. So still heaps of work, but uh, It's coming along alright. Let me know what you guys think um, Been really happy with all the advice you guys have been giving me and I appreciate it um, Yeah, so uh, All the best